Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys five very important time-saving tools if you're working with DAW or writing music that you must have. And first of all, I did not get any sponsored by these uh, companies and I actually purchased these um, plugins or softwares because they are very useful in my music production I want to share with you guys. And of course, if you like the content of this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends to help me making more content and share with you guys more tips and more about the music production and uh, what I do in my studio. So without further ado, let's take a look at the five different tools that I want to talk about today. And uh, you don't want to see my face that big. So let's take a look at the door. Now, first of all, this one I recently purchased. Oh my God, time saver. It's, call, it's called Plug Search. Of course, we know like uh, we have lots of plugins and instruments and sample libraries, especially for logic. It's a pain in the ass to browse through all the available instruments, plugins, and oh my God, it's just very time consuming. Sometimes when they organize these things, they organize under company name, like I don't really care which company makes it. I don't remember anymore. So what do I do in that case, right? Like look at all the plugins. I want to delay, I want to get a delay uh, plugin. Okay, which company do I choose from, right? So plug search, uh, if you go to uh, plugin, click option, and then you just type, mm, I want to delay. Whoops, I can't even spell delay. My goodness. Okay, delay. I have all these choices, right? I sometimes I don't even know what they are because I purchased them and I just don't remember, right? And uh, you, you have the logic ones and then you have uh, some some from Waves, some from I don't even know where. So I can just go ahead and click on. Oh, okay, it's a free one. Ah, now I remember I got this for free, and uh, you know it's pretty quick and easy and help you to explore what are the plugs in you may have forgotten, like me. Then uh, of course you can just uh, go ahead and find it right now. If I am going to look for something by Fab Filter, for example. I have to use a capital F because somehow capital is the company name and then small letter is just the type of delay you're looking for. And uh, da, 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 there we go. Uh, do they have a delay? I'm sure they do. Timeless, maybe. Anyway, so um, there we go. So, you know, it's pretty pretty easy to, to find your um, your plugins. And so as the instrument, right? So go to instrument, let's say I want a, mm, I want a piano. Okay, and now I have these choices. Uh, how about I want to get uh, this one. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay, great. It's an um, Spitfire. Uh, if you look at the interface, you can already tell it's Spitfire Audio, okay? Original felt piano. Great, let's see. And then I can just play it, and, you know. So it's pretty easy and uh, pretty fun to do that. And then I can just play it. Right, so now that's the time-saving uh, plug search. Now, what if I want to have um, Let's say I was going to make some EDM, uh, EDM sound, okay? And I have to browse through my hard drive for all these like kick, snare sound, clap sound, and it's just a pain again. Okay, so another plugin is called, or not plugin, software, it's called um, Sononyme. I think I, I pronounced it right. So in this one, uh, it actually search for um, it can search for all the sound that you have in your hard drive. Uh, it's already categorized. Uh, it search for loops and kicks and snares and claps, toms, anything. Okay, and then you can browse through here to find a sound that you like. And uh, let's see. I I just press kick and. 
it, you can also you know like click on here to search for brightness or the noisiness it's already analyzed all the samples that you have in your hard drive for you with the key and the pitch and the length so it's very useful if you're looking if you're going to work on uh, work with wave file for example if you are going to make like EDM music or something like that I prefer working with wave and uh, let's see so you can preview all the samples that you have uh, And let's say I like this one and then I just want to well actually you know what I'm going to find snare sound because I think that might be better to show you okay let's say I like this sound very much as you can tell, it's, it tells you where is this sample is from. It's from Native Instrument, Machine 2, Library, blah, blah, blah. And uh, let's say I like this sound, but I want to see what other options I might have. So you click on the circle. It will search and find similar sound for you. And it will you know, line up by similarity. And you can read the legend yourself here. Uh, overall, spectrum, timbre, uh, pitch and amplitude blah 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 so see how similar they are and then you can compare which sound you might want to use instead let's say oh actually this one is better than the original I found and I'm just gonna drag that into my DAW and that's it and it's that easy instead of you know go through your your finder and you know it's pain to to find it right so once you have dragged into the doll you can just work on it as if you were dragging it out from anywhere pretty much see how easy it is right. so that's a really really like time saver uh, software that I would recommend now, another thing uh, that I want to talk about is go back to here, option, because I have the plug search, right? Tonal balance control. What's the point of using that? Is when you actually like have multiple tracks now, you're making your music and you want to keep track of whether you have enough uh, instruments to fill up your um, your your uh, spectrum of sound you can have this plugin in your stereo output and then you can keep track oh, I don't have enough bass now obviously I don't have enough bass so it's time to have some some kind of instruments in here it's just a hint and to keep yourself in you know keep keep track not really you know derailed from uh, the, the balance of the mix right so this is another one I would suggest another uh, another thing I want to uh, talk about is I have to load an instrument now so what is time saving with the Spitfire audio okay let's take this away for now okay you see all these um, articulation right every time you have to do a key switch or every time you have to do uh, you know press it press on the uh, uh, UGI it can be time-consuming and frustrating especially if you're writing a lot of different music and and the key switches may be very different and what the heck do I do right you yeah. see this track here this articulation set okay you can actually click on it the thing I want to talk about is this Babylon waves art conductor logic or you know like I'll I'll put the link down below uh, you can go check it out this one is just the articulations for all these libraries I know there's an update which I haven't really purchased and I figure whatever I have right now is enough for me for now these are all the um, uh, sample libraries with audio or uh, audio imperia uh, Best of is let's see cinematic instruments, uh, cine samples, 
uh, a lot of different ones. So I just have to choose the right one. This one is the Spitfire Audio uh, BBC Symphony Orchestra. Oops, I forgot what I loaded. So let's see. What did I choose? Strings vo Violin 1. Okay, all right. So go to the articulation. Spitfire Audio, uh, BBC, Strings, and Violin 1. So click on that. And once you have chosen that, you see this articulation here. Okay, let me see if I can make this smaller now. And let's say I want these three notes with long. And this one note, I want a different articulation. I want it to be a spiccato. Okay. And then I want the next four notes to be pizzicato bartok something that obviously different you can tell and then the last one i will have a tremolo okay so by selecting all that when i play it jump to the correct articulation without you know doing all the key switches and all that so it's very very time saving if you ask me and uh, it's totally worth it uh, especially if it includes a lot of different articulations if you have a lot of different sample libraries maybe it's time to invest in this um, articulation set you know it's really time saving and of course if you don't have other sample libraries i know logic pro 10 you know the stock um, string libraries, you can also uh, utilize this function, the articulations. So go check that out. Now, the last thing I I'm going to talk about is adapter metric AB. So this one is actually a reference uh, plugin. So you load, um, I'm just um, gonna, you know, like whatever. This is just pretending, okay. Uh, loading a, an original commercial available um, audio, okay? And you want to reference that to your, um, uh, to reference to uh, your mix, okay? When you're mixing and you're, when you're mastering or something like that, you want to have a reference point, okay? So that you're not doing your own stuff and, then, and, and the end result is just far from, you know, the standard. So this one is a reference, um, Plugin. When you're actually mixing or mastering, you can compare these two to the loudness, to the spectrum, and it's just a quick reference without, you know, like where else are you going to put a reference track in the logic itself? So that would be like muting the track, single track, single uh, solo the track and muting the track. It's, I have done that before. It's just, oh my God, waste of time. So this one is actually another time saver that you might want to consider. So once again, five different um, plugins or, or software that I talked about today. The Plug Search, oh my God, super useful. And the Sononyme for dragging WAV file into your, um, your DAW and it auto already automatically categorized the sound for you, searching similar sound for you, the pitch, the uh, BPM, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, it's another really, really good time saver uh, plugin or software that you may want to have. Uh, the third one I talked about was the, uh, the tonal balance to keep yourself in, you know, on track, not doing something crazy with the sound uh, make sure the sound spectrum is already filled and just a reference point and then the articulation set okay is time saver and the last one was the reference uh, if you decide to you know mixing or mastering that's the final step so basically the reference one and the tonal balance is kind of like going hand in hand um, to make sure your end product as you go as you are writing the track it's already you know, not going crazy to different direction. You have a direction to go to. It's leading you to this balance zone. And that's very important, I think, so that you're not wasting time. 
at the end of your project, project you try to fix everything and find, like, where do I fix, right? I have like 100 tracks. Which one is out of balance? Which one is causing problem? So when you, when you occasionally keep track, uh, you know, keep checking this reference meter would be a, uh, something that can save your time in the long run. So anyway, that's it for today. And uh, remember, if you like this content, uh, make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends to help me make more content to share with you guys. And uh, I'll see you next time. Ciao.